A familiar sight and sound in the skies above Whanganui for the past 50 years. At the controls of the Cresco is Bruce Harding. A third generation Harding, Bruce's grandfather Walter was one of New Zealand's pioneers in agricultural aviation. During May 2000, Wanganui Aeroworth Limited celebrated 50 years of operation. It started back in May 1949 when Wally Harding witnessed the first public demonstration of aerial top dressing carried out by the Royal New Zealand Air Force at Masterton using a Grumman Avenger. These shots recorded by Wally in 1954 feature a Bristol freighter demonstrating aerial top dressing which led to North Island East Coast operators using DC-3s and load stars. Wally was so impressed with the initial trials in 1949 that he decided to fit a hopper in his own Tiger Moth and use it to top dress his two farm properties, one at Blink Bonnie east of Whanganui and the other on less fertile tussock land at Waiuru. When neighbouring farmers saw the results of Wally's operation, they contracted him to top dress their steep hill country properties, and so began in 1950 what is now Whanganui Era Work Limited. The end of the Second World War had left surplus aircraft looking for new owners and pilots looking for work. For £300, one could buy an ex Air Force Tiger Moth have it converted for aerial top dressing and be in business. It was a proposition that was to appeal to many and scores of such enterprises sprung to life in the early 1950s. Cliff East joined the company in 1951 and was one of Wally's Tiger pilots. The old Tigers, they were cold, dusty, very, very cold. And uh, in later years, I went on and, and flew the Beaver, which was much more comfortable than the Cessnas, and then on to uh, the Fletchers. But to watch the full-length version of this movie, head over to our full streaming channel at www.historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find this film, along with many other awesome rail videos from Magic Video Systems.